Hey guys, One Click Lindsay here, out for a little walk. I was gonna tell you a little bit of a story. So I have this client, she wanted me to train her people on how to run Facebook ads, but I don't have a course set up for that quite yet, working on it. So she went to one of the better well-known names in Facebook marketing to get a course. And he's well-known, you'll know him if I were to say his name. They started running Facebook ads. and She came to me and she's like, hey, One Click, we're running these really great Facebook ads, but my landing page that was getting 50% conversion is now getting like 0.2%. Please help me, please retool my landing page so that it will convert, convert, convert. And I was like, cool, I would love to retool your landing page because that's more money for me. What did I do? I opened up Facebook and looked at her traffic source. Well, she was making a very important Facebook marketing mistake. So I thought I would do a quick video because maybe it's not that well known, although it should be, um, on for those of you who are running your own Facebook ads, make sure you adjust this very particular setting that I'm gonna tell you about so you can save some major Benjis when you run your own Facebook ads. So stay tuned, here's a little tutorial. So my tip has to do with ad placement. When you go and create an ad, you're gonna be able to select where it's placed. So let me show you that section here in Facebook. Go ahead and hit create ad and this is applicable to like all objectives all over Facebook. So let's give yourself a campaign name, very descriptive, ASDF. I'm gonna choose traffic, I'm gonna hit continue. This is where the hint comes in, is when you're editing your ad set. If you scroll down, and, and it's really standard for someone who's just starting Facebook ads or even an advanced Facebooker, as I mentioned in my video, to accept all of Facebook defaults, but I'm telling you right here, right now, where it says placements, do not accept Facebook's default. You need to not choose automatic placements, but hit edit placements. So let me tell you a little bit about what is placements. It's basically telling Facebook, I'm cool if my ad shows up in the newsfeed, in the right hand column, in Instagram, in Messenger, in the audience network, and audience network is where you're gonna waste a lot of money. What is audience network? Essentially, uh, Facebook, if you're looking at an article from Facebook or an app on Facebook, there's little ads everywhere. Facebook will display that ad. Well, these audience network ads are notorious for being really excellent on a click-through rate. You can get a couple cents per click-through on that thing, but they will not convert very well, not very well at all. Why is that? Facebook marketers hypothesize that maybe that's because bots are hitting those ads or people are scrolling through on their phone and accidentally hitting them. Regardless of what it is, I'm telling you the facts right here, right now, that audience network, you wanna uncheck that and typically only use that for warm traffic. Now, while we're in here, I may as well share with you that I would uncheck audience network, I would uncheck Instagram, I would even uncheck right-hand column and instant articles. Why? Because you wanna go into Facebook advertising and, and do a separate ad for all of these placements because a right-hand column ad is gonna show up a whole lot smaller than a Facebook newsfeed ad and people's mindsets are a whole lot different on Instagram than they are on Facebook. So there's no way you could create an ad that will meet all of these objectives. So that is the hint for today. Please, when you're running Facebook ads, make sure you modify placements. Don't waste your money on audience network.